So this is the bathing. Okay, three, two, one, go. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, and this is the maiden edition of my life as a vlogger. We're starting off today. We're starting off today. We are starting off today with a road trip to Makodi, Makodi Benue State. Benue State is in the north central part of Nigeria, and um, I reside in the southwest part of Nigeria. That is Ibadan, and but I'm originally from Benue State. It's a 12-hour plus road trip, the longest anybody could possibly have in Nigeria. That's we're moving from one region to an entirely new region. It costs about 9,000 naira. I don't know how much that costs in dollars, but about 9,000 naira, which is quite expensive. I mean, for someone who travels to Lagos like almost all the time, that's like nine times the normal fare. But, well, I just hope this is fun. So, it's actually a very tiring experience and fascinating all the same. So, I decided to use this to launch my vlog and make this the maiden edition of the vlog. So join me on this road trip and um, on the way we are going to be passing through a number of states. We are going to be passing through a number of states, I think about four states in total. And the most fascinating of them all being Kogi State, which has beautiful landscapes. So if we are able to have a stopover, I will probably fly my drone and get some epic shots. I'm currently filming on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, which I believe is an amazing phone and I got especially to be able to do this vlog. So. Join me on the street. The transport company I use is Benue Links. It is one of the most reliable means of transport for people moving from anywhere in Nigeria to Benue and vice versa. Preparation for the journey starts at 6 a.m. with the garage boys or Agbero as some call them. <laughs> These boys arrange the luggages of passengers and for a tip of about 200 naira, they will give your luggage priority. When the garage boys were done, we, the passengers, were allowed to take our respective seats in the bus according to our ticket number. Not too long after that, a preacher came around to do his thing. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can everyone say amen? Amen. Turn and say to your friends, set your neighbor congratulations. The Lord bless you. Barely three hours into the journey, our driver was trying to beat traffic and decided to leave the highway and use the nearby bush path. Guys, this was the most scary part of the journey. We kept going round and round from one dead end to another. After about four hours in the middle of nowhere, other passengers were already getting scared that we might end up in the hands of kidnappers. All the while, I kept trying out Google Maps and as soon as I found internet connection, I started to direct the driver. Just to be double sure, we paid some hunters that were, were nearby 4,000 naira to ride with us and help us out of the forest onto the highway. Thankfully, Google Map was right all along and simply served as served to make sure the hunters aren't taking us somewhere else. After we made it out of the forest, ah, thank God, we then had a stopover for petrol. One of the most exciting things about long distance trips is that as you pass through different states, you get to see different people selling products that they have in abundance at rates you can't get anywhere else. These products range from palm oil, fruits, bush meat, sculptors, etc. Alright, I'm sorry if I look really rough right now. Like, my hair is really tattered. We just had the first stopover at a location called Ogbese. And um, we stopped here. We stopped here to have 
to have lunch. We've been traveling since 8 a.m. No, 7:30 a.m. actually. I will just stop here to have our first stop for lunch. And um, we still have about 10 hours of journey ahead of us. And um, I'm really tired. As you can see all over me. When we stopped for lunch, I decided to get some drone shots. But there were too many people around and I didn't want the drone to call attention. Usually, when children see drones, they just come and crowd you and make flying a very, very difficult thing. So I decided to launch the drone from the roof of the bus while I sit inside the bus so no one knows who is controlling it. <laughs> Smart, right? Now, this particular restaurant at Ogbese in Ondo State is the stopping point for all travelers along that route. The food is quite pricey and a few people who tasted it said it is below average. I personally don't eat food cooked while traveling to keep my GI system in one place. I was curious to know how the restaurant managed to get so many drivers to make, to make them their only stopover point for food and the answer was quite smart. The management of the restaurant gives the drivers free meal whenever they stop there. Smart, right? So, as long as the drivers keep driving, hundreds of passengers that take that route are their potential customers. You have to pay 50 naira to urinate in their toilet and 100 naira to take a shit. As you can see, there's no competition around. The locals also benefit hugely from this establishment. They get to hug their local produce to a larger audience in a single location and make huge sales. The sun was already setting on us, so the driver stopped for a final time and asked that anyone who wants to urinate should do so now because once it's dark, there won't be more stopovers for security reasons. It is a common occurrence for containers that fall on the road. This was quite funny because a truck carrying the container fell and the crane that came to lift the truck that fell also fell, blocking the whole road. So a new crane had to be brought to lift the falling crane. <laughs> Alright, so it's 12.41 a.m. and um, we're still on this journey. We started at around 8 a.m. Around 8 a.m. on the 23rd of December. This is 12.41 a.m. on the 24th of December. 17 hours later, we're still on this road trip from Ibadan to Makodi. We're currently in a town called Alide. It's a local government, sort of rural area, kind of, in Benin State on the way to Makodi. And we had to stop over and sleep because the driver said that the roads are not safe and um, yeah, there has been cases of robbery so we, also, we just have to stay over safety first so I'm super tired right now as you can as you can hear from my voice I'm very tired but I promise to give um, a full account of this road trip so I'll come back when I have arrived at 6 a.m. Perhaps hopefully. Alright guys, take care. Bye. I almost regret engaging in this journey, but are you coming in? Huh? Are you coming Anything in? for great content. Sorry the video is dark. The only source of light is one tiny bulb just above me in the bus and that's the only source of light here. After 25 hours on the road, we finally arrived at Makodi, the state capital of Benue State. Immediately, you can feel the peace, the hospitable environment, and everything good. I love you so much when I'm in Makodi because it takes away the pressure characteristic of bigger cities. I don't have to feel anxious about anything not money, not life, 
because in Makodi there is this calm atmosphere and everyone moves at their own pace. If I was a billionaire and I needed to calm my mind and find the next path for my life, I will come to Makodi. I was born and raised there. I never appreciated this city till I left. My name is Nong of Kelvin Teyima, and this is my city, the food basket of the nation. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on post notification. If you like this video, also hit the like button. It really helps with the algorithm. So guys, I'll see you on the next episode. So while I was in Benue, I made lots and lots of travel videos and I'm going to be posting some really scenic scenes in Benue. Like Benue is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. The sunsets behind the river Benue River is nothing like I've ever seen in my life. Now trust me, it is the most beautiful thing ever. So I'll be posting the videos in a few days time. So please subscribe and turn on post notification to catch up with the content when it comes live. Thank you and bye.